Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in the beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, the channel where we talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Newcomers, my name is Didi. And yes, I hold Bitcoins and I always wear Bitcoin t-shirts like this one, to be or not to be. And you can buy them of course in our store. Um, a short TA video, a cool TA video with like five really amazing charts that you need to see at the moment. Yes, it's a little bit of sad day. John McAfee yesterday passed away. He's not, a, not anymore among us. Um, rest in peace, John, and all our condolences to the family, friends, and all the other loved ones. Um, let's now jump into the chart. And at the end of the video, I will have a small clip, a short clip of John McAfee doing a two minute speech that I really like. Guys, now let's jump into the charts first. This one over. Bam. charts on Oryx. This one I talked about talked about yesterday. Um, I will see if my face is on right in the screen because um, that is very important. If it is not doing the right thing I'm going to re remove my face like some of you suggested yesterday because my face is not important on the screen. Yes, indeed it isn't. Not when I'm talking about charts. So this is what I said. We have the triple bottom. We were going up again. Yes, and we were. We are a little bit correction here. Maybe we continue. Maybe we correct down. It still needs to be clear. Or it's a bullish expanding triangle. Or it's a bullish triple bottom. If it is a bearish pattern, guys, we will drop very far down from here. Because then we will go to the 24K level. Why? Because if you look at this chart, yes, this one again is trading view. Um, I'm going to show you why I think. Because this green box over there that you see here in the top, those two green boxes, those are the important boxes for me. This, the support area from 31K that we had support many times, like we can see, yeah, support, support, two, three, four, oh, over here, five, six seven like like many times support this this is important and this is important and that because these two are important to me i also set some alarms like you can see these orange things over there that is an alarm alarm if we close down below that level of 31 or this one if we go up the 37k level because i want to have an alarm because those levels mean for me that we could go more bullish or bearish and that's why i set these alarms you can see them over there guys those orange things um at the moment we found the support over there we are going to try to uh, break that upper band and then maybe to the top band of 37k that is what i expect and um, if we break this level again then yes then i can see um 34 to 24k level in play but before we break that level i don't see that yet guys so yes i know you want me to be bearish and i will tell you in the later chart on this video why we could go to 24k but till we break this level with a day candle with a body of a day candle there's a day chart every time candle is a day if we close no if we close the candle down below that level then I get bearish. Till the time, not getting bearish. I'm then more bullish than bearish, guys. Let's jump into this chart. Um, here, bam, the weekly. That's what I showed you yesterday, the RSI. When the RSI is down on this level, below the level 40, it's a buying opportunity. So you can see every time we came below it, but we should have bought. Um, just take a look at the video of yesterday if you want to see more about that one again. Um, yes, some very beautiful stuff, bam this one over here this is Oryx and I told you guys the indicators will go live on Oryx um, they are live in the dev development uh, stage now tomorrow morning they will be live also in the uh, public stage to show you how it will look very cool we go to indicators over there you see basic you see oryx and you see bitcoin family you click on bitcoin family and then you see the bam bam the margin call the bitcoin family magical 1.4 light the bitcoin family magical 2.03 the bitcoin family tiktok and the bitcoin family tiktok strategy um let's see 
let's see if we can already set the bam bam over there and we will take this one also over there and we will take this one also over there so let's see how my beautiful screen looks like now look we have all those beautiful flags that you always want we have that beautiful cloud that you always need we have the beautiful bam bam over there yes we can adjust the lines you can if you double click it guys you can again see which lines you want to have which colors like this one i want that one to be white nah that's my opinion but okay 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 look and then it changes into white yes we also have the beautiful beaches and green hills in this new aurox trading environment if you want to sign up to aurox please use the link down below the video because that is the only way you can get access to the bam bam and all the other indicators guys like you can see we could have taken that long i've been talking about that long in the previous videos if you took that long i told you guys to exit around eight percent that is over there and um, that would be in a profit we still need to see if we go down we could even continue this a little bit more but let's see if not then there will again be a short and how do we see a short if there is a short flag if there is a bam bam crossing the white line if the green is going into yellow and blue again then that could be a short in my opinion not a great short at the moment because uh, it would be only a very small profit if, if we could take the short over there maybe to the bottom of that band like three percent so not, not the best uh, trade so let's wait and set this out yes it also works on the 15 minutes and all the other time frames guys this is the 15 minute chart now look in the 15 minute chart let's see how that one worked this morning this yellow line over here that is normally the stepping line you can change that one as well like you you can go to the line and you can say nah I want a stepping line okay then it's a stepping line and over here guys long flag closing above the yellow stepping line there we have the bam bam crossing also the white line also positive we have green starting but the red line is on top which is the only not good thing but still one two three very good indicators even the dot already very early Hmm, that's a strange one together with the long flag of course one two three four indicators that could have told you to take the long and that long in the 15 minute chart would have given you a profit of yeah you're still in it in, in it probably so it would be 1.1 percent with a leverage of 10 yeah that's a 10 percent profit over there just now on that beautiful morning guys that was everything that i want to show you on these charts this is the trading view you charge so you can see it's a completely the same now what are we going to do now bam we are going to go into the next part of the video where we have really cool charts that you need to see you <laughs> i want to end on the oh stupid why do you do that why do you try to be that now let's jump into that part where we have really cool 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 um images of charts that i want to talk about bam over here that is the first one and this is the part where my face uh, needs to be moved all the time or i need to remove my face also a good option first chart is this one it's an important chart because if you look at this the liquid supply ratio which means how many people with strong hands that hold the bitcoins for longer time or buying the bitcoins up you can see that one here so more people that have more long um, people that hold bitcoin longer are now accumulating the bitcoins again so strong hands the price is going down this is what you could call bullish divergence and every time this happens we can expect the price somewhere to return up again and we can look at for example here the January dip um, here the price is going down you see and you see the people the strong hands buying again and what happened afterwards the price exploded so these types of things I'm always looking at in the charts as well is this happening so for me this could be a bullish divergence um, and that means for me that the price could go up again so let's see we don't know for sure but that's a beautiful chart why do all the people now think that we drop to 24k bam that is this chart and um, people think that we drop to 24k because they believe that there is a gap to fill so this gap that we can fill you can already see the gap i think you can see the gap 
Yeah, you can see the gap. There was this gap over there. That is the gap people think we need to fill at 24K. If we need to fill the gaps, then let's also please fill this gap. Let's also please fill this gap, which is around 60K, which is around 50K. So, and there's another gap. Let's fill that gap as well. And there's another gap. Let's fill that gap as well. It is not only about gaps, but this is the reason why people think that we will fall to 24K. Let's see. I told you, if you break that 31K level, yes, there's a possibility that we fill the gap because there's not much volume in between. But then still, I believe we are in the bull market and we will go up afterwards, guys. Bam. Another cool chart. This one. Bitcoin Meyer Multiple. The Bitcoin Meyer Multiple. This is chart is telling you if Bitcoin is overbought or oversold. And the moment Bitcoin is overbought, we should be <laughs> exiting, I sorry, the charts. And we, when we are oversold, that is the moment to buy. And we are now at the level, that, like you can see, of around uh, 0 0.755 here in the corner there. And if you now look to the left, how often do you see that we have been around that level? And every time that we were around that level, was that a buying opportunity? Yes or no? Let, let's take a look at this one over there. Was that a buying opportunity? Yes. Let's take a look at this one over there. Was that a buying opportunity? Yes. Let's take a look at this small one over there. Was that a buying opportunity? Even that one? Yes. Was this area a buying opportunity? Over here. Over there. Yes, it was. Was this one in 2012-12 a buying opportunity? Yes, it was. So this level for me is an important level to keep an eye on that it could be a very beautiful buying opportunity again. So also this one, the Maya multiple is telling us Bitcoin is now being oversold. Cool. Next chart. Let's see if we can take a look at bam, this one. This one is also showing you um, those huge pullbacks in Bitcoin. Where did we see the pullbacks and how big were those pullbacks? Um, if you look at the chart, you can see that there was many pullbacks and um, around the halving you can see like for example over here was a minus 62 percent pullback from the previous all-time high this halving we had a 43 percent pullback from the previous all-time high here the halving we had a 57 pullback from the previous of the high all the high was 20k and that the halving price was eight and a half k so that's a 55 percent 57 percent drop and after that halving you always get a run after the halving you get a run but during that bull run it doesn't mean we could we won't get any dips anymore you can see that there were multiple dips also during a bull run here this one all those peaks here peak 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 it's all dips during that bull run guys and that is now looking very small and tiny because you know it's a longer time frame but this is just one of those peaks in my opinion that we saw over there and over the there and over there guys so it is a little bit bigger but if you look back to this bull run of 2013 we had those bigger peaks as well here even 70 percent so that is beautiful to see on this chart and then we have the last chart of the day bomb this one this is also a really cool chart and i'm lying no that's the last one and why is this the last one because that's the last one <sighs> you just talk too much sorry on this chart we again see um this beautiful four-year cycle guys and this four-year cycle we can see that how 2016 to 2021 is evolving and 2012 to 2017 evolved five years in total but it's a four-year bitcoin cycle so if you look how these both cycles are exactly moving like each other like we tip there we go there and we bottom there and we bottom there and we all see the same movement slowly crawling up in 2020 slowly crawling up in 2016 then having this dip in 2021 then having this dip in 2017 and then after that dip in 2017 yes it went up one more time big time yes i think we went will we'll go up one more time big time because yes also here on this on the bottom you can see 12 times now 12 times it was over there nine times it was over there five times it was over there so yes i think we will see a movement like that somewhere over there guys that was everything for today i told you uh
bam very short ta video i want to end my video with a two minute clip of john mcafee giving you some beautiful advice about who we should give power and who we shouldn't give power and i think that same goes for bitcoin think about who you give power on bitcoin to we shouldn't give power on bitcoin to the governments to the central banks and to all those centralized organizations that want to take that power away from you so enjoy this two minute clip also as out of respect to john because he supported the crypto community in a big time yes also with pump and dumps but also with the fundamentals thanks for watching the video enjoy the last part and hopefully see you later today with another family or live video again bam why does power corrupt well let's take a look at the human species uh, humans are compassionate and loving, gracious, kind, generous people. Uh, we are simultaneously greedy, jealous, envious, angry. We're a mixed bag. And if you give one of the human species power, which part of ourselves uses it? Love? <laughs> Love <laughs> does not need power, people. It flowers from the heart. Grace? <laughs> Grace certainly uh, needs no power. Compassion, generosity. No, these are simply things that flow uh, from our good nature. What uses power? Well, <laughs> Greed certainly needs power, doesn't it? If you have enough power, you can take any fucking thing you want. Uh, anger. Oh, anger definitely would love some power, but would it not? <laughs> Envy? Well, with power, uh, whatever you're envious of, you can duplicate uh, on your own. No. It is that negative, unsocial not life supporting part of the human animal that needs power nothing else needs power and so we give people power over others through government through military and we expect uh, <laughs> them not to be corrupt wake up people be very cautious who you give power to thank you Thank <laughs> you.